This podcast is sponsored by valleygivesback.org. What will you be remembered for? Name a Valley nonprofit in your estate plan and create a legacy that tells future generations what matter to you. Making a gift that costs nothing during your lifetime is easy and revocable if things change. With a planned gift, you have the power to impact the Valley forever without affecting your current lifestyle. Your action inspires others to make a difference in their own way. Remember the Valley. Ask your accountant, financial planner, or attorney about planned giving options. Plan now. Give later. Impact tomorrow. Learn more at valleygivesback.org. For hundreds of years, we brought you the news. For in the info, we gave you the clues. Owners' profits were always sky high. Changing market now threatens our lives. Post literation, critical reading, dumb down nation, signs of inbreeding, TV sucking ideas from our head, public discourse, just about dead. We'll ride the dinosaur. Yeah, ride the dinosaur. It's not a video, it's just me. Hey everybody, it's Eugene Driscoll of ValleyIndy.org. Welcome to oh, Naval Gazing. That was my son being loud. Welcome to Naval Gazing, the Valley Indie Podcast. Today I'm interviewing two ghost hunters. Jack, what do you think of ghost hunters, man? Okay, if you don't say anything, nobody can hear you. Um, a bunch of cool. They're what? They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool, according to my son Jack. Uh, I'm interviewing in this episode, like I started to say, Nick Grossman and Peter Soro. They are out of Norwalk with the outfit called Ghost Storm. That's a ghost hunting group, paranormal investigators. They will be investigating, checking out, taking video and photos and whatnot. Twisted Vine in Derby on Main Street Saturday night, February 22nd. Obviously, the hunt itself is not open to the public. But they'll be there early, I guess, getting dinner and then conducting a hunt. Twisted Vine uh, dates back to uh, at least the 1900s. I probably should have looked that up before I started this podcast. Beautiful restaurant. The 1800s, you're saying? Yeah. How do you know? Because I know. You just know. Okay. Are you going to go to the uh, ghost hunt, Jack, when it happens? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, Jack says. Uh, and the other people in the group, Kevin Hoyt, Anthony and Heidi DiPietro, uh, and a few more people who I'm probably leaving out. Uh, 18th century building, that's what it says. So anyway, here is my interview, which was conducted via uh, the phone. Enjoy. Nick speaking. Hey, Nick, this is Eugene Driscoll of ValleyIndy.org calling. How are you? Good. How's it going? It's going. I went to call you, and I, got, I had a thing saying, this browser does not support, so I had to switch browsers. Oh, yeah. But luckily, no it wasn't problem. a disaster. You know, that's, that's always the way it is. Oh, I know, uh, I, I know what you're talking about. I do a little bit of web page uh, uh, It's always a programming. nightmare. It's always oh, a yeah. nightmare. I'm talking to ghost hunters. This is like the uh, second or third time in my career I've, I've, I've been able to uh, talk to a few ghost hunters because there is a ghost hunt happening at Twisted Vine Restaurant on Main Street in Derby Saturday night, uh, the 22nd of February, I believe. And uh, on the line are two gentlemen from Ghost Storm. That's right. I Operation. like that. I like that yep. name. Uh, my name's Nick Grossman. I'm an explorer. Um, of Ghost Storm, um, and uh, me and Peter have been to some wild places and had some very uh, unique and eccentric moments doing this kind of stuff. And this is my partner here. Hi, Peter Soro, and uh, yeah, I'm Nick's assistant. And uh, we've had some really, really great adventures over the years, going back. Uh, I'm going to say now probably six years, and uh, some of the stuff we've done. Dudley Town. We've gone to uh, Mansfield, the old Mansfield Training School and Hospital in uh, in uh, Mansfield, Connecticut. Uh, a lot of great experiences, and this next one is going to be 
I think, uh, pretty pretty fantastic. Oh yeah. So let me ask the before we get into uh, Derby and Twisted Vine specifically over there on Main Street, just down the road from me a little bit. Uh, how did you guys uh, get involved? in the supernatural or the paranormal when is this like a ch- goes back um, to childhood or this goes back probably i want to say around 2004 peter saw a show up with some ghost hunters that went to mansfield training school oh that that's was, what it is well it could go back to yes it was on it was on uh, cable and it was one of those ghost hunting channels and uh, it was about the Mansfield Training School and Hospital. It was it was a group that uh, went in there, uh, and I guess did some did took some photographs and did some research. And I thought, you know, it would be interesting to find out where this place is and go there. And it's you know it's in the same state, so. And that's what we did. And that was just the two of you guys. And now it's kind of grown. I mean, how often do you do these uh, these searches and these ghost mm-hmm. hunts? We usually, like, um, we'll go get a camping site somewhere, right, and go travel to these destinations, and we'll go, like, cook, you know, food and play guitar at the campsite at the fire, and then at nighttime, we go to these spots and explore, and uh, one main uh, landmark that we, one of our, both of our favorites is Dudley Town. Now tell me, I'd read that in the New Haven Register article. What is Dudley Town? I I don't know. I'm I'm from New York. I don't have any. I, what 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 is Dudley Town? I should know, but I don't. I guess. No, it's okay. Dudley Town is an abandoned uh, ghost town, and there's really nothing left but um, foundations. You know, fo- like a bunch of foundations. And if you go in there, I kid you not, you won't hear any animals. You won't hear any birds chirping. You won't hear any squirrels. You probably won't see any insects, and it's a big strip of the forest that's on the Mohawk Trail, and it's just it's just very bizarre. And you know, you don't. I've never seen one animal up there. I don't think. And uh, you would think that you'd hear like birds because it's a forest all over the place, but it's just actually extremely quiet, almost like a void. And and then in terms of the data or photographs or audio clips, video you guys collect, uh, what ultimately do you do with this information? Do you sort of share it with other people in this field, or do you share it with owners? Well, or what, what's the end? I'm sorry. Go ahead. But right now we're uh, focusing a lot on social media, and you know we, you know, me and him and the rest of the the team. Uh, we're basically like ghost magnets, it seems, because that's why we're so successful at getting these types of photos and videos because, uh, you know, these things are obviously attracted to us. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you say that? I would definitely say that um, that, was, uh, that would be true, yep. that, that, that we do tend to have a kind of a, what would you say, sort of a magnet, magnet yeah. Oh, yeah. to this kind of oh, thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? So, Some type yeah. of sensitivity. Uh, and how about uh, Twisted Vine specifically? How did you get hooked up with this particular business in the city of Derby? Um, I went, uh, I was kind of dating this girl at the time, and me and her went there. She wanted to take me there because she knew I liked the paranormal. And immediately, I was just fascinated. I, I Right when I walked into that door, I could feel the clairvoyance kick in and knowing that there's not just regular people here. There's also spirits here. Yeah. We went downstairs and the light started flickering. And then we went into the next room and had dinner upstairs and that light started flickering. And it just, you know, it took off from there. And honestly, that time, that was the only weird experience I've had there at that first time. But I just knew I felt like this place is totally has activity here. And recently I wanted to take Peter and aunt who's another member of ghost storm there because I love the place and, you know, see how they felt about it. And we got a tour and we talked to the owner and said, we would like to do a night expedition here. And, uh, basically we got pictures of like a man standing in the booth, very phantom looking. And we have pictures of, like orbs flying around and 
all sorts of weird zooming around and um so you've, you know. you've been in there before conducting some uh yeah. hunting oh, yeah. okay yeah so what's yep. going to happen saturday what are you going to do uh saturday night is this like another overnight thing uh, yeah, well, Saturday night, uh, I guess the plan is to get to the restaurant, have dinner, and then um, sort of begin everything or get everything going. Whatever after they close, I would say maybe, what is it, around 11? Yeah. I think yeah. so, yeah. yeah. So we're probably going to be there from about 11 to 2 or 3 in the morning, and uh, maybe maybe even later than that. And uh, then will you publish a video and things like that on your uh, page or web page afterward? Or do you live stream or something like that? How can people sort of uh, stay tuned to what's happening there at Twisted Vine? Yeah. Um, you know, we may do the live, uh, live stream, but I'm definitely going to publish it on the website afterwards and see if I could uh, send New Haven Register, you know. No, you can forget them. It's okay. They had They had their shot at it. Come on now, guys. Oh, yeah. It's competition, for God's sakes. <laughs> They're haunted. Uh, how about in terms of, uh, there's been this, I guess, I don't even know if it's a resurgence anymore. It's a whole genre. There's like one that comes out a week of all these movies, uh, the paranormal, paranormal activity movies, uh, these found footage horror movies, like the Blair Witch going back uh, until the late right. 90s. Is there any particular movie that you thought captured what, Ghost Storm does accurately. Is there any particular movie that well, you say? Well, I'll oh. tell you this. I am a horror nerd right here. Oh, okay. I've got Jason Voorhees tattoo, his mask tattooed to my my shoulder. I got Dennis Hopper right here from Texas Chainsaw Massacre Two with the cowboy hat. Yes. I've got a mis- I've got a misfit skull tattoo. You know, I'm a huge fan of the misfits, and um, I got Salem's Lot vampire. And I got the puppet from Puppet Masters, you know, on that arm. And I think the next one we're going for the Crypt Keeper from Tales of the Crypt. But I, I the the one the I like Poltergeist. I like the movie Poltergeist. Sure, sure. From like 1982. I, that that oh, kind of awesome. that did it. Yeah, yeah. It's intense, and I like that movie. I'm big fan of Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, even underground horror movies. You name it. Uh, Japanese horror movies. Oh, so you're I a horror guy. So I'm sorry. I watch. I, I at least watch one every single night. I actually do. I swear. I do a horror movie podcast separate and apart yeah. from from this uh, podcast and and reporting that I do every day. So I'm going to ask you my horror movie podcast question. Hopefully, it doesn't get me fired. What will you be remembered for? Name a Valley nonprofit in your estate plan and create a legacy that tells future generations what matter to you. Making a gift that costs nothing during your lifetime is easy and revocable if things change. With a planned gift, you have the power to impact the valley forever without affecting your current lifestyle. Your action inspires others to make a difference in their own way. Remember the valley. Ask your accountant, financial planner, or attorney about planned giving options. Plan now. Give later. Impact tomorrow. Learn more at valleygivesback.org. But I'm going to ask you, uh, name one horror character you would most like to get drunk with and why, and then name a horror character you would least like to get drunk with and why. And of course, this is obviously hypothetical. If you don't drink, just pretend you do. Okay. Um, let's see here. I would like, I would like to go... I would like to go back to Jason Does Manhattan <laughs> and go to one of those pubs with him and have like a beer or an IPA. Jason Voorhees that specifically. I would, like to do. I would like to go back into that movie because that's a brilliant, just genius, brilliant movie right there. I mean, it's just great. Is that your favorite Friday the 13th? Is Jason I, Takes yeah, Manhattan? Absolutely. Yeah, by far. There's so, you know what's funny about that? There's so much comedy and. That movie, assessed from like the scary parts, they have all this crazy like sense of humor, and Jason has a sense of humor. He doesn't say anything, but you could see when those scenes happening. Sometimes you could see he actually does have like a personality. Probably the least favorite to drink with would probably have to be, um, probably like 
the spirit the spirit from the entity or something like that. What about you, Pete? The leprechaun. Drink with? <laughs> to, to drink, drink with, with the leprechaun. Man, these are great answers. You guys are the leprechaun <laughs> from the, the leprechaun. leprechaun movies. The only problem is just as long as he didn't pull any of his stuff. <laughs> and how about how about a uh, uh, least least uh, favorite or least what character would you least like to get drunk with? As I struggle with English. Oh my gosh! Let's see. Um, you know who? You know who's kind of boring is Michael Myers. Oh whoa! You know, That's going to be some fighting words. That now this podcast that, will go viral. That guy. That guy would just. He wouldn't even. He wouldn't drink. He's not interested in drinking. He'd just kill you. But you know what? We we've totally went off the subject, and I apologize for yeah, that. I but no, uh, I know. Since somebody says the word "or," I mean, I just love it so much. Like literally, like. Wax museums, here I come, you know? You know what I'll ask you? My, 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 my parting question will be, like, I know uh, the whole ghost hunter sort of movement or industry or cottage industry, whatever, I don't even know how to describe it. There was a huge boom during the, like, I guess uh, maybe 10 years ago when, uh, like, Ghost Hunters was on cable and there seemed to be every channel had its own and there were a lot of these sort of paranormal investigative groups popping up all over the place, sometimes fighting with each other, which I I would do a story and then I would get a million emails being like, that guy is blah, 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 and it would get a a little crazy. Uh, Is it still like a crowded field? Is there still interest out there or is it kind of... You know what? I'll tell you this. Um, Before I was doing this, I was like a mid-career artist in New York City, and you get a lot of hate. When, when you're good at something unique like that, you're going to get a lot of haters. And, you know, it's kind of uh, whack that you get haters because, you know, you're not going to help out the You know, I always have made friends in the art scene, and I always help them get shows. And I feel that same way about the paranormal community because you got a lot of haters that you know, it's very childish, some of these people. And, um, you know, I would... If they were friendly and nice to me, I would totally like you know give them leads and all, all sorts of stuff. You know, we're we're pretty fearless, me and him. So, and the rest of the team too. We have Anthony DePietro, Heidi DePietro, and we have uh, my friend that I've known since the '90s, Kevin Hoyt, and he's been trained by the Warrens. And no, uh, okay. we have like a strong group here. You know, it's it's a little it's a tight group, but it's strong. You know, we have a strong foundation here all right guys good luck we got it great and, uh, thanks very much just before yeah. we go you know what i want one last the what where can do you have social media you got a facebook page and all that you guys want to plug or um we don't have the facebook page created yet but we have we go by the website for now which is www.vagaparanormal.com and uh we'll, we'll get that facebook one going but um you know there's an email on there if anybody wants to talk or whatever to check it out and there's that there's there were philosophers so we write you know uh personally i have a bunch of essays on there about the paranormal that i wrote and uh, that's on there too so all right boys thank you so much i do appreciate you very much for hundreds of years we brought you the news for in the info we gave you the clue We're always sky high Change in market now threatens our lives Post-literation, critical reading Dumb down nation, signs of inbreeding TV sucking ideas from our head Public discourse